Night of the Hunter, in my opinion, is a prime example of how lighting is used in a film to portray a story in a much more complex light. The cinematography in this film is so extravagant that critics rave about it to this day. While it was an unpopular film back at its release, today it is still referenced when discussing the use of lighting and familiar image. First off, what is cinematography? Cinematography is the process of capturing moving images on a film to a digital storage device. Cinematography is an intricate language that can contribute to a movie's overall meaning. The director's use and direction of the camera help portray characters using light, shadows, and familiar image. The use of cinematography is essential to any movie that strives to portray characters beyond just physical attributes and speaking parts. The use of lighting in The Night of the Hunter is seen in both the characters and the lighting scheme. For the characters, and Harry Powell in particular, you rarely ever see a character without some sort of lighting to either portray their mood, their intentions, or their significance in a particular shot. A combination of light and dark can make for an extremely dynamic character because the use of lighting goes beyond the surface level of the character. It allows us to see and interpret their intentions and nature. Charles Lawton's The Night of the Hunter recounts the story of Reverend Harry Powell, played by Robert Mitchum. Harry comes into contact with Ben Harper in prison because he stole $10,000 and is then executed, but is revealed to Powell that he has the money hidden somewhere. Powell meets now widow Willa Harper and her two children, John and Pearl, and they know where the money is hidden. Powell, consumed by the desire of money, claiming all of this to be the will of God, marries Willa, kills her, and then chases John and Pearl down the Ohio River in order to get the money. The use of lighting is strongly portrayed on the character of Harry Powell to reveal his true nature. It is rare to see him without some sort of dark shadow either surrounding him or covering half of his face. In this shot, in the foreground, we see Rachel Cooper who is the protector of the children and in the background we see Harry Powell who has found out where the children are hiding and is here for the money. Half of his face is covered by a dark shadow. This portrays his evil nature where the light side of his face portrays the false persona he has always tried to put on as the righteous moral reverend. We continue to see shots of Harry Powell with this particular use of lighting and shadow on half of his face, and this is also an example of familiar image. After seeing this use of lighting on Harry Powell so many times, there is no denying Harry's evil nature and his cruel intentions. We see a similar use of lighting throughout Orson Welles' Citizen Kane. In this particular shot, we see a prominent shadow engulfing Charles Foster Kane, and this depicts his constant inner struggle with wanting to create the biggest newspaper and his overwhelming greed to become the most powerful and wealthy man on earth. His constant battle of evil mirrors Powell's apparent evil nature in the film. Charles Lawton, the director of The Night of the Hunter, was a famous actor in the 30s and 40s, and when his acting career died down, he directed this film because he wanted to make the audience sit up straight again in theaters so that they may be engaged and intrigued by the film they are watching. But sadly, he did not accomplish this as this, was the, as this film was not a favorite among the public, and it was the only film he ever directed. But critics today rave about this film, and it is now known as a great classic. He is well known because of this film, and will forever be an example of how a movie should incorporate cinematography in order to portray a character and scene in a more complex light.